This is brought to us by the United States Postal Service. So we'll just be really glad that it showed up. I'm having my issues with them again. But anyway, hey guys, I'm back. We have here one of my absolute favorite things to unbox this month, any month, all months, every month. We have here the Going Gear EDC. You can actually kind of see it. You can kind of see it through there. Can you? The Going Gear EDC Club. Oh, what a great subscription. If you were to ask me, not like no no theme, no nothing, just like what are some of my some of my absolute top favorites, Going Gear would have to be in it, regardless. So let's get into the packaging here. Can I just I want to use a knife. I don't care if I have to. I want to. So let's get into the Going Gear EDC Club. And uh, okay, maybe we will maybe we'll get into this. I'm trying my very hardest to get into this. Sorry that I am uh, incapable of cutting through flimsy thin plastic. Okay. There we go. So Wow, I am screwing this someone up today. I I don't know. All right. I told I pro there we I told see I told you. See, I told you. In the video description, I'm going to put a link to Going Gear because I always put the links to the ones that, like, if they either send it to me or I really like it, I'm going to put the link in there in the video description. Love Going Gear EDC Club. Um, now, again, I always say, everybody, let's switch gears. Let's turn our hats backwards or whatever we have to do to win the arm wrestling match to get custody of our son. What a ridiculous movie that was. Since when is child custody settled by competitive arm wrestling? But take off the outdoor survival hat put on the EDC hat and uh, see what going gear has to offer going gear great company have a whole website of all stuff products so basically everything in the in the EDC club I am happy already <laughs> everything comes from their website so if you see something you like you can buy that. You you know for a fact. Like some other boxes, we have to wonder where they sourced it from. Some people like say they like to watch the unboxings just to see things they like and don't like, and then they can go find the things they like. We know everything here comes from Going Gear. So in the premium today, there's only three items. Um, and this is rare. So this was kind of like last month. There were only a few items. Normally... We get more than this. Um, however, the... Yeah, I can understand why. So, also, these prices... This is the price for the premium knife, and this is the price for the um, just the standard. Pretty high dollar uh, um, value as, as the box goes. That's probably why we're not seeing a whole lot in the box, these last couple boxes. But, um, I mean, I'm happy to just see what we've got in these two these two lovely boxes. I'm babbling here. So we're gonna start, let's look at what's in the standard first. This is Glo Going Gear brand, it's, it's theirs. Glow in the dark lanyard with metal bead for $5.95. Um, so I guess we've got glow in the dark 550 cord. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal the bead is. It feels like it's got a little bit of weight. I'm tempted to say this is I don't know if this is aluminum or steel. Do I have a magnet around that we could test with? Here we go. Nope. It is aluminum. All right. Wait. Wait. It's kind of staying on there. Uh, might be a little ferrous. I don't know. That's weird. It does feel a little bit heavy. It does feel a little bit heavy. It has a vague attraction to the magnet. Um, I don't know, but not enough to really stick it on there. But it's a nice little bead for your lanyard and everything. Now, let's check out the glow in the dark factor. Oh, right in my face. All right, I'm being something a little bit extra tonight, aren't I? Let's turn this off. Glow-in-the-dark 550 is pretty cool. 
It's not really anything too hard to find or special. We've seen it on the channel before. But it looks pretty nifty and even maybe possibly swifty. So this is ours for $5.95. Um, I probably will put it to use on something. I'm not sure what. Or maybe put the bead somewhere else and use the lanyard somewhere. But nice little uh, put together thing. Okay. Now in the standard box, we have one knife. We have the Kaiser uh, Big Lighter Mini with a price from Going Gear of $149. 20 CB steel blade, titanium handles, um, 2.91 inches. It's blade length only. Let me show you the label there. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. This was supposed to come, this is supposed to be glued to this. Um, that's weird, that just must have, I don't know. It was outside, probably like, like in nine degree weather this morning in the mail, so that glue probably just froze right off. Here is our little sticker, that's cute. Okay. I feel like I've seen this, um, but I can't be sure. So let's take a look. First of all, as always, we've got some extra screws because Kaiser takes care of us. Let's, there's, there's nothing else in here. We've got the cloth. Now Kaiser does, I've said this, Kaiser needs to step up the quality of their little microfiber cloth. I've had, um, Cheaper brands, not cheaper, less expensive brands said much nicer cloths, but there it is. And then this is just all the Kaiser information that we've seen over and over and over. Let's get to the knife. I do, I have had this before. I don't know if I've had this with the checker grip pattern, to be honest, but I like, so if this was, we, we, we call this the frag pattern. We've gotten used to calling this a frag pattern. Technically, only if it comes from Monkey Edge is this a frag pattern. That's like their thing. Um, that's what they came up with. But this kind of checkerboard, you may hear the chinchilla chewing on a stick in the background, you know. Um, but when we say frag pattern, we're really, it's like we're, we're, we're taking that from Monkey Edge. But we've got titanium. I'm gonna say frag pattern now. Frag pattern, titanium, scales on both sides. Um, they, they do the thing, why do they do this these days where the liners come up above the scale a little bit? I don't know why that's popular. I don't like it. If you guys out there understand this and have a reason why you like it, please tell me, let me know. But we've got deep carry clip, left or right tip up. Oh, nice springy and it's gonna hold, but it's not gonna shred up any pockets, especially, I bet they were thinking, with this kind of texture on there. They wanna make it nice and pliable. But there you go. Fit and finish looks really good all the way around, as usual for Kaiser. It's a really nice, uh, let me get a little paper towel real quick. It's a really nice dark tumble finish on the blade. I need to move my light over more directly over so it's kind of like on an angle there so you have shadows but very nice finish sonic you doing good with that stick over there buddy okay um, very comfortable really like the grip a little small very edc friendly in terms of size but it is a, a relatively small knife has a good weight, a little bit weightier than you might think a knife this size would be. Um, but for big hands, it sort of disappears in there. And that's just a big hand problem that may not be a you problem. Great jimping right there on the spine. Easy to get that liner lock. Ooh, that's great action. Now that's not spring assist. That is just excellent detent and manufacturing. Awesome action. No blade play. And yeah. But we, wow, that 
it feels like it is assisted. No. It feels like it is assisted. It opens so quick. I mean, it's that feels really good to open. Let's get one of our monies out for cutting purposes. These bevels look really good, really even. Could be finished off just a little bit, a little stropping. I'm actually a little, little, uh, not disappointed, but Kaiser, I expect that I really do expect a like straight razor edge right out of the package. And this could use just a little bit of refining, just a little bit. this no problem with the slice though let's get a little pull through going and more effort than I would expect honestly out of a Kaiser I gotta say uh, but yeah a little bit a little bit of strop I think is all it would take and pew oh, no pew pew Pew, there we go, and it does pew. So, very nice design on the knife. A little small for my taste. I'm sure a lot of people would really like it for EDC style. Has a gentlemanly feel to it, you know? Well, okay, there's standard. Standard is all done. And cool. Go away. Let's get into the premium now. Which again, we've got a price of 289. 289. The concept EDC TAC. I don't know if we call it EDC TAC or EDC TAC. Uh, they call it a compact yet formidable gentleman's folder. That feels a little weighty over there. Let me show you the the label. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the 154 thing is. That is I don't know what that's about. 3.1 inch blade, Timascus and titanium inlay, S35VN. Oh, it's a Willemson, a Michael Willemson design. I love that. Um, CPM. Oh, see, over here it says S35VN. Over here it says CPM S35VN. And we've talked before about the difference between CPM steel and just regular other steel. CPM steel is a higher quality because powdered metallurgy and, and all that stuff. Uh, we can discuss it again further if somebody doesn't remember or hasn't heard. Um, box has a little bit of that weight to it, I gotta say. I'm really excited to see this. Ooh, oh. I understand the price on this now. Wow. Okay, this is a gorgeous piece. I'm going to move the light over because I want to want to get a full, proper there we go. Look at that titanium full handle with the Timascus inlay. That is gorgeous. And of course, I'm getting my fingerprints on there, making that Timascus look unpretty, but beautiful. Let's see, we've got the clip, I believe, looks like it can be mounted left or right. It's not deep carry, unfortunately, but it's pliable. We've got some, I, it's hard to tell, but some really nice blue, I, I mean, maybe it's showing up fine on camera. Really nice dark blue anno on the pivot. Looks like we've got a button lock there, too. Oh, that is slick. I mean, that action is slick. And, oh, wow. They, they didn't say that these were numbered on the sheet. And I will show you that. I just want to wipe down the blade real quick. Beautiful grind lines on the blade, but... So that 154 sticker... Oh, it's not going to want to focus on this because it's so damn shiny. Is it coming out over there? 154 out of 320, 320. Or is it, yeah. So they're numbered. 
EDC Club often puts in limited editions, exclusives, special editions. Oh, man, they didn't mention this on the sheet. So this is a, a numbered one out of 320 knives. Now, I don't know if it's the Timascus inlay or if it's the type of blade steel or whatever, um, but this is just beautiful. And that explains the, like I, I've said already, that explains the nearly $300 price tag on this. Um, concepts usually aren't that much, but for the materials we've got here, for a numbered piece by a well-known designer like that, yeah. I show you the grind lines, the beautiful, sexy, sexy grind lines. That is a gorgeous knife. Totally get where they're going with the uh, gentleman carry kind of comments there. And yes, skeletonization in the liners and temple smasher slash uh, glass breaker on the end as part of an full titanium backspacer too. So button lock. Oh God, that thing, did you see that? What, I'm just, wait, just, gotta get the feel. That's the thing about button locks, man. I get, you know, every time you get a new knife with a, with a lock, you gotta get used to it. But once you do, that one-handed action, especially button locks, then, Getting closed and knowing just when to let go can be a bit of a challenge, but once you get it, you get it. This is this is worth. Ah, I I I paid. This is double the like worth double the price of this subscription right here. I have never been disappointed in a, in a box from EDC Club, and this is just above and beyond. Wow, okay. Concept was a really interesting brand when I first tried it out, and they have some that are really hit and miss, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's see. No effort whatsoever, couldn't even feel that blade move. And then our pull through is nothing. And pew, 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 pew. Not flying away pew, but it cuts them really nice. These bevels. Are perfect um, what a gorgeous knife if you're looking for something that you can take out and you know so when I used to do the knife ratings and I, I think people voted not to do the whole knife rating slips anymore so you know we're not but one of the things was cool factor the you know take it out of your pocket and the rest of the knife guys gals and you know the knife llamas really want to get their hands on it and say, oh my God, what do you, what, show me that. What are you carrying today? This has it. This definitely has it. So, awesome. So at first you look and you're like, oh, there's only three items in this particular box. But when you look at these three, okay, these two items. Okay, this one is like, all right, you can find use for it, whatever. Um, I might want to put it, if I was going to put a lanyard on this, I would definitely not use this one, but that, this, this bead could go nicely with it. But it's gonna go pretty well with this. Um, but I mean, the, these, the the value of these two knives is way above and beyond. Two, three, I don't know, four times the cost of the subscription. It's it's crazy. This is, I love EDC Club. Some of my favorite pieces I have of all, of all types, not just knives, but all different things have come out of EDC Club. You just can't beat it. It's awesome. So there we go, January 2024, starting the month off great from Going Gear. What do you guys think? If I ask you your favorite knife, I think most people would choose this, but I also understand this is very flashy in a way, so I can see how some people really would choose this because it's understated and it's more utilitarian. Um, but I am going to, see the only thing is I can't stand it when my oil's on my fingers mess up the beautiful look of the Timascus because I'm just like that. But this is, I'm absolutely going to carry this um, and show this off as much as possible. So, what do you guys think about Jan... Oh, they put Jan... Huh, they're just like me. They forget we're in a new year also. 
So yeah, what do you guys, how do you guys feel we're starting the year off with EDC Club? I hope you're as excited as I am. Once again, like I said, I put the link in the video description because when people ask me what's a good way to spend money, uh, I really support the companies that I feel are a good way to spend money. And if I'm willing to throw my money down with them, I don't have a problem putting a link in the description. You'll notice there are sometimes I will never put a link in the video description. That should tell you something too. What kinds of stuff do you think would be great to come in a Going Gear box that maybe we've seen you want to see again, or we just haven't seen at all? I think that'd be an interesting discussion. So, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, you are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.